Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv and I'm going to, to discuss the iPhone version 1.1.1 1 .1, uh, hacks and applications. Recently, I went ahead and I, I applied the iPhone dev team's uh, jailbreak to uh, unlock applications on the new Apple version 1.1.1 1 .1 software update. Now note that I did not unlock my phone to run on any carrier. Um, so prior to the iPhone dev team's work I was I uh, kept my phone at version 1.0.2 and I held off on updating until a jailbreak was released and uh, I went ahead and followed the steps and uh, it was it was a little bit complicated probably not for everyone but uh, the, the instructions were written well enough to where someone like me could follow it so um, the folks over at AppTap who make the AppTap installer or installer that app they're going to be coming out with a much simpler elegant solution for the iPhone uh, probably sometime this week or next week so if you're a little bit uh, a little bit careful or you just uh, just want to make sure you don't mess up anything I would I would wait for that to come out before I would go ahead and mug around with the uh, the one that the iPhone dev team put together so but you know it, essentially they're gonna do the same thing but the uh, app tap people tend to make it a one-click uh, hack which is kinda cool so I've hacked this guy <laughs> as you can see my uh, battery <laughs> My battery image is a is a fuel indicator. is not a not your normal battery indicator. So I used a, an app called Customize to do that. I also have a a carrier image changed up here. It says uh, there it goes again. Sorry, I hit the camera. But it says iPhone with a little Apple sign instead of the uh, the normal AT and T. So, so let's go ahead and look in here and see what I've done. And I got a little custom sound there. Now the first thing you notice, or you may not notice, is that I have more than the standard 12 icons, just like last time. Except this time, I'm using a modified version of Springboard and not a uh, the software called Summerboard. Summerboard doesn't work, so you're not going to be able to have themes on this particular screen. You can't have background images yet until somebody figures that out. Um, but what we can do, as you can see here, there's three little dots in the bottom here. And we can paginate to multiple applications. So if you install multiple applications using installer.app, then you can paginate. You don't have to you don't have to rely on the launchers. I've also configured the background image of the dock. So this is version 1.1.1. I have iTunes down here. Um, and I have some other applications. Here's installer.app. Same as 1.02. It pretty much works as a <coughs> pretty much works the same. It um, some applications do not work, however, and uh, they really don't have a way of distinguishing which ones do and don't. So the only way to find out if your favorite application works on version 1.1.1 <laughs> is to go ahead and install it. So uh, that's what I've done. I've installed, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. I've installed a bunch of apps, and um, the ones I have installed are working. Customize, being my favorite, has been recently updated to include RSPT, which allows you to resort or rearrange the icons, and it's built right into Customize now. So this is how you can arrange the dock icons in whatever order you want. And uh, you can also hide certain ones as well. Here's some settings where you can uh, specify how many dock icons you want, how many springboard icons you want, and so on. Here you can change the carrier images. This is what I've done. Uh, I downloaded a few designer images which have the 007 images, uh, have some Verizon links, some Verizon images. This is the one I'm using the iPhone. Um, there's one that has an Apple sign greater than a Windows sign. The AT&T logo, one that says Hack TNT, <laughs> uh, and so on. Uh, I also downloaded some Florida Gators ones. They're called Football on the installer.app. And then there's some Halo 3 ones, which I used for a while. Um, there's a bunch of other things you can do. You can change the edge icon. I don't have any images to replace that yet. 
you can replace the airplane icon, Bluetooth, all this good stuff. So that's customized, and that's one of the main ones that work. Um, I got uh, Mobile Twitterific here, Colloquy, Apollo IM, and all the same ones still work. I got Tap Tap Revolution, the new version. <laughs> Show you a little bit of that for those of you, the two of you who haven't seen it. So it's pretty much the same as before. You get the idea. So that's Tap Tap Revolution, Minds, uh, the Dictionary, Sudoku is on here. Stoku, Sudoku, I don't know how to say it. Um, so the applications work. I have a mobile chat and I have five dice and stocks and all this stuff. So this is version 1.1.1. Applications work as advertised. Uh, again, if you're going to update, I recommend you um, you wait until the AppTap people or iBricker or those guys get a one-click solution because it, it involves some Unix commands and some some uh, some technical know-how to do this now. Um, and the good news is that you can do this on the iPod Touch as well. There are some solutions for that, and uh, you can do pretty much everything that you see here on the iPod Touch. I believe they've got the YouTube app working on the iPod Touch, and I believe they've got the Mail application working on the iPod Touch. So the only difference now between the iPhone and the iPod Touch is, you know, <laughs> the phone, <laughs> the phone radio. So uh, pretty much they got everything else working. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv. I hope you enjoyed the iPhone eye candy. I know it's been a while since I've done an iPhone video and uh, hope you enjoy it. So I'll, uh, I'll give you an update on whether the AppTap people have, um, the AppTap people have updated their software. Toodaloo!